According to Mark Cuban, business guru and Dallas Mavericks owner, recessions are the best time to start a company. Mr. Cuban said, companies fail, others hold back capital. If you are willing to do the preparation and work, it is the best time to invest in yourself and start a business. Actually, there's 12 well-known businesses that did start in the middle of recession. Netflix was founded in 1997. Airbnb was founded in 2008. Trader Joe's was founded in 1958. Microsoft was founded in 1975. Sports Illustrated, 1954. MTV, 1981. General Electric, 1876. Warby Parker, founded in 2010. More about that later. Second, you need to find a need and a solution that works. First, do as Mark Cuban advises, prepare, work, and invest in yourself. Third, be willing to be unconventional. Notice I started with the second key for a successful startup. Investing in yourself, doing the preparation and the work is the most important because any great idea without preparation and work will remain that, an idea. Many successful business people attribute their success to luck. They say they were in the right place at the right time. However, as Thomas Edison said, opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. And for the man who found 10,000 ways not to make the light bulb before reaching success, that's really saying something. This is how Warby Parker described their startup. Warby Parker was founded with a rebellious spirit and a lofty objective to offer designer eyewear at a revolutionary price while leading the way for socially conscious businesses. Every idea starts with a problem. Ours was simple. Glasses are too expensive. We were students when one of us lost his glasses on a backpacking trip. The cost of replacing them was so high that he spent the first semester of grad school without them, squinting and complaining. The rest of us had similar experiences, and we were amazed at how hard it was to find a pair of great frames that didn't leave our wallets bare. Where were the options? It turns out there was a simple explanation. The eyewear industry is dominated by a single company that has been able to keep prices artificially high while reaping huge profits from consumers who have no other options. We started Warby Parker to create an alternative. By circumventing traditional channels, designing glasses in-house, and engaging with customers directly, we are able to provide higher quality, better looking prescription eyewear at a fraction of the going price. We believe that buying glasses should be easy and fun. It should leave you happy and good looking with money in your pocket. We also believe that everyone has the right to see. Almost one billion people worldwide lack access to glasses, which means that 15% of the world's population cannot effectively learn or work. To help address this problem, Warby Parker partners with nonprofits like Vision Spring to ensure that for every pair of glasses sold, a pair is distributed to someone in need. There's nothing complicated about it. Good eyewear, good outcome. For ideas on how to start your new business, visit us at www.americanhopesuccess.com.